The remainder theorems by using long divisions polynomial px equal to 2x cubed minus x squared plus 3x plus 1 is divided by x minus 2 will give remainder 19. So here is the process of long division where we have the polynomial 2x cubed minus x squared plus 3x plus 1 with the divisor x minus 2. You will get the quotients is 2x squared plus 3x plus 9 with the remainder 19 and we can still get the remainder without going through the long division so how this is called the remainder theorems just now we have the divisor x minus 2 from this divisor we're going to have x equal to 2 so substitute x equal to 2 in the polynomial here and we will obtain p2 equal to 2 times 2 cube minus 2 square plus 3 times 2 plus 1 equal to 19 still we get the same value of remainder which is 19 the remainder theorems let's look at the situation when the divisor is a linear factor. When a polynomial px is divided by a linear factor x minus a, then the remainder is pa. Proof. Let px be a polynomial of degree n, where n greater than or equal to 2. Then px equal to qx times x minus a. x minus a is a divisor plus r, which is remainder, from the polynomial divisions. When x equal to a, we will have PA equal to QA times A minus A, which is will equal to 0 for this part, plus R. Since A minus A equal to 0, then the remainder RA equal to PA. Notes. If PX is divided by AX minus B equal to, we factorize A, we get A times X minus B over A, then R equal to P b over a where x here we substitute with b over a how do we get b over a is from x minus b over a where we can have x equal to b over a and if px is divided by ax plus b equal to we factorize a we get a times x plus b over a then r equal to p in the bracket negative b over a where x here we substitute with negative b over a how do we get this which is from x plus b over a we get x equal to negative b over a example one Find the remainder when px equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 5 is divided by a x plus 2. So for x plus 2, we can have x equal to negative 2 since we know that negative 2 plus 2 equal to 0. So when x equal to negative 2, you know that r negative 2 equal to p negative 2. So we can substitute negative 2 in the given polynomial px here. So we have p negative 2 equal to negative 2 cubed minus 2 times negative 2 square plus 4 times negative 2 minus 5 equal to negative 29. Therefore, R negative 2 equal to negative 29. Next, for question B, we have the x equal to 3x minus 1. So we need to find the value of x to be substituted later. If you have difficulty to find the value of x, you can do like this, which is we can have 3x minus 1 equal to 0, so x equal to 1 over 3. So we can have when 
x equal to 1 over 3, we have r1 over 3 equal to p1 over 3. Next, substitute x equal to 1 over 3 in this polynomial. So we have 1 over 3 to the power of 3 minus 2 times 1 over 3 square plus 4 times 1 over 3 minus 5 equal to negative 104 divided by 27. Example 2. When px equal 2 to x cubed minus 3x squared plus kx cubed minus 6 is divided by 2x minus 1, the remainder is 16 determines k. To determine the value of k, we are going to apply the remainder theorems. Since we have the divisor which is 2x minus 1, the value of x will be equal to 1 over 2. When the remainder is 16, we have r1 over 2 equal to 16. Based on the remainder theorems, we know that p1 over 2 equal to r1 over 2. That means we have p1 over 2 equal to 16. Now, I will substitute the value of x which is 1 over 2 in this polynomial. So, I will rewrite p1 over 2 equal to 16. So, now we substitute in the polynomial. We have 2 times 1 over 2 cubed minus 3 times 1 over 2 square plus k times 1 over 2 cubed minus 6 equal to 16. Now, we will expand these equations. We are going to have 2 over 8 minus 3 over 4 plus k over 8 minus 6 equal to 16. I will rearrange these equations by bringing the constants on the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So, we have k over 8 equal to 16 plus 6 plus 3 over 4 minus 2 over 8. So, k over 8 equal to 45 over 2. And then, we multiply these equations by 8. So, we get k equal to 180. Therefore, k equal to 180. Example 3, the expression x cubed minus 5x squared plus qx plus 9, where q is a constant, give a remainder of 13 when divided by x minus 4. Find the remainder when the same expression is divided by x minus 3. Before you can find the remainder when the expression is divided by x minus 3, we need to find the value of q in these expressions. So, before we can find q, I will let px equal to that expression, which is x cubed minus 5x squared plus qx plus 9. And the divisor is x minus 4. So we can have x equal to 4 with the remainder of 13, which is we know that r4 equal to 13. By applying the remainder theorems, we know that P4 equal to R4. That means P4 equal to 13. Now, we are going to substitute X equal to 4 in this polynomial. So, we are going to get 4 cubed minus 5 times 4 square plus Q times 4 plus 9 equal to 13. We are going to expand these equations. So, we have 64 minus 80 plus 4Q plus 9 equal to 13. We arrange these equations by bringing the constants on the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So, we have 4Q equal to 13 minus 9 plus 80 minus 64. So, 4Q equal to 20. Q equal to 5. Since we already find the value of Q, which is Q equal to 5, we can substitute this value in this polynomial. Therefore, we have Px equal to x cubed minus 5x squared 
plus 5x plus 9. Now we are going to use these polynomials to find the remainder, which is rx, when this polynomial is divided by x minus 3. That means the divisor now is x minus 3. We are going to apply also the remainder theorems. So based on dx equal to x minus 3, we are going to have x equal to 3. That means we have R3 equal to P3. So to find R3, we are going to substitute the value of 3 here in this polynomial. So we have 3 cubed minus 5 times 3 squared plus 5 times 3 plus 9 equal to 6. Therefore, we have R3 equal to 6. Example 4. Given that Px equal to 2x cubed plus ax squared minus 6x plus 1, when Px is divided by x plus 2, the remainder is twice of the remainder when Px is divided by x minus 1, finds a. To find a, we must have an equation which is based on these situations. We know that P negative 2 equal to 2 times of P1. So now we can substitute x equal to negative 2 and x equal to 1 in this polynomial, which is we have 2 times negative 2 cubed plus 8 times negative 2 square minus 6 times negative 2 plus 1 equal to 2 times of P1, which is 2 times 1 cube plus 8 times 1 square minus 6 times 1 plus 1. So I will expand this equation, which is we're going to have negative 16 plus 4a plus 12 plus 1 equal to 2 in the brackets 2 plus a minus 6 plus 1. Now we are going to simplify the left hand side of these equations. So we have 4a minus 3 equal to for the right hand side here we are going to simplify 2 by expand this and simplify then so we have 2a minus 6 i will bring 2a here to the left hand side and the constants which is negative 3 to the right hand side so we have 4a minus 2a equal to negative 6 plus 3 so 2a equal to negative 3 therefore a equal to negative 3 over 2 Example 5. The polynomial x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus 1 left a remainder of 5 when it is divided by x minus 1 and a remainder of 7 when divided by x minus 2. Find the values of a and b. In order to find the value of a and b, we need to have at least two equations. First, I will let bx equal to x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus 1. To form the first equations, I'm going to refer to this information, which is we have the remainder of 5 when divided by x minus 1. Here, for the divisor x minus 1, we have x equal to 1. So, for the remainder here, we have r1 equal to 5. We are going to apply the remainder theorems. Therefore, we have P1 equal to R1, which is equal to 5. This is for the first equations letter. Next, for the second equations, we are going to use this information, which is remainder of 7 when divided by x minus 2. Divisor here is x minus 2. So, we are going to have x equal to 2. So the remainder will be R2 equal to 
sevens and we know that p2 will equal to r2 which is equal to seven this is for the second equations so now i'm going to substitute x equal to ones in this polynomial so we have one cube plus a times one square plus b times one plus one equal to five so we have a sorry one plus a plus b plus one equal to five so a plus b equal to five minus one minus one is three so we have a plus b equal to three as the first equations next for p2 now I will substitute x equal to 2 also in this polynomial. So we're going to have 2 cubed plus a times 2 square plus b times 2 plus 1 equal to 7. We're going to expand this, which is we get 8 plus 4a plus 2b plus 1 equal to 7. So we have 4a plus to b equal to 7 minus 1 minus 8 is negative 2. So we can simplify these equations. We divide these equations by 2. So we have 2a plus b equal to negative 1 as the second equations. Now I will take equations 1 minus equations 2 to find the value of a. So equations 1 minus equations 2, we're going to get a minus 2a, which is negative a, b minus b equal to 0, and 3 minus negative 1 is equal to 4. So negative a equal to 4, therefore a equal to negative 4. Now, we are going to take a equal to negative 4, negative 4 to be substituted into equations 1 or equations 2. I will substitute into equations 1. Okay, substitute into equations 1. So, we have a which is negative 4 plus b equal to 3. Therefore, b equal to 3 plus 4 is 7. So write the conclusions, therefore A equal to negative 4 and B equal to 7.